people who haven't read the book, basically what is it about and why did you want to write it? Um, well, I'll answer the second question first. Uh, I wanted to write it because because it is basically an extension of what I've been doing for so long at OkCupid, a dating site that I'm the founder of, where I was looking at um, people's interpersonal data, like how people interact with one another and what they basically do with their time online in order to run the site. And so that's what the book is about. I, I take data from OkCupid, Facebook, Twitter, Google, um, and instead of telling the sort of economic story about advertising or whatever, or the security state story about the NSA, uh, I just kind of tell the human interest side of, of data and what it can tell us about how people live their lives. Yeah, and you've written kind of movingly in the book um, about, I guess you would say, the plight of women, because you've written that after the age of 21, it's like kind of downhill from there, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, the, yeah. Well, yeah, their their attractiveness ratings on a dating site suffer for sure, and and I think, um, and the fact that men like younger women is like no surprise. I mean, that's who you see on magazine covers. That's who's in Hollywood, et cetera, et cetera. It's models, um, but you know, the the data um, can show with a little bit of precision and clarity something that we kind of all knew before. And especially on a dating site, we can like reveal the problem and help solve it too. You know, dating site, if you get, I'm 39. If I ever got divorced or a 45 year old woman gets divorced, she can go on a dating site rather than hitting the single scene or going to bars or something now, you know, right. where it would be horrible. Uh, and I don't know, it's, it's one of these things. It's, it tells, it, it's, it's like a, it's a messenger of, of, a, of something that's kind of extra to it. Okay. But one of the nice things about the book is, is that you do write that people online are pretty judgmental um, of one another but that once they meet in person, all your sort of numbers and data sort of go out the window and something else happens. So what, what talk about the difference between online life and... Sure, I mean, yeah, online life, people put forth a certain aspect of their personality, maybe like their id, basically, you know? Um, and they're very judgmental, uh, especially because a site like OkCupid is set up so that people can judge each other, so that we can find you someone that you judge, that you like, and judge in a positive way, uh, to go on a date with. Um, but yeah, we found that in person, no matter how people rank things, no matter how much people think attractiveness is important or don't, um, once they sit down at a table and have a, have a cup of coffee or a beer, that all does kind of fly out the window. And that, that's why we sort of limit our ambition as a dating site, is just to get people to that table. Like we're not trying to figure out who's gonna be whose soulmate and, and we're gonna get you guys married and all this stuff. You know, we have a very, um, humble is a very overused word, so I'll use the word limited, a very limited ambition with what we're trying to accomplish yeah. for, for our users.